So here in Zoom, we're going to have a look at how we can cut out part of the lecture or recording you've made. So we're going to come to our recordings here. And we're going to jump into this first recording. We've got a few options here to download, copy a shareable link for this recording, and then also to view this shared screen with SpeakerView. If we click here, then once we start playing the video, we'll get some options down here at the bottom right to trim our video. So if I pause this, we can grab the trim tools and we can select an area of the video and then hit play. It's going to play back the area that we're removing so we can fine tune it. And then once we're ready, we can hit remove and then it will remove that section. So now we can click on another section. We can refine it. We can play it back. It will come back to the beginning and play that section. So we can keep refining it until we're happy with it and then we can hit remove. So again, we can just keep going, adding other sections that we want to remove and refine those. So once we've got those three sections selected and we're happy with that, we can remove them each individually. So once we've finished trimming, we're happy with it. And you can see I can't do any more trimming at the moment. Um, the recording is being trimmed then we'll get an email notification once the trimming is complete. Then you can come back, check the duration of your video. One thing I would be doing is downloading a copy of the video as well, and that just gives you a backup of that video. So once we finish trimming and we can come back to the page, we can hit refresh. You can see I've gone from 35 minutes down to five minutes. So shorten this quite a lot. There isn't a way to roll back the edits that you do here. So I would recommend that you download a copy of the original video. That will give you a backup in case you accidentally trim something critical that you need. You can also edit with an offline application as well, if that's something you choose to do. So something like DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro will give you more control and ability to refine your video. If you do have any questions, then please get in touch.